We may be down in the basement, but let me tell you, so far in Next Level Chef, some of the best food has come out of the basement. What does that tell you? They've got a brilliant mentor, me. You're going to see it here first. Here is an exclusive behind the scenes of this Next Level Kitchen. All right, guys, here we are. We're in the top level kitchen. The most amazing cooking equipment, the most beautiful space to work in. You want to be cooking in this top level kitchen. Every day there will be a different theme based off of an amazing platform of ingredients. The platform starts at the top where each chef has the opportunity to have first pick at these most phenomenal ingredients. I mean, look at this morel mushrooms. What cooking competition have you ever seen that has morel mushrooms? Okay, welcome to the middle level. See, this is the thing about Next Level Chef is our competitors and judges, they have no idea what level they're gonna be dropped off in. There's so much tension in that elevator, and then they come out and they're like, okay, thank goodness I'm not in the basement. Our chefs here on this middle level, they're doing okay, okay? They have blenders, they have mixers, they have pressure cookers. This is where you're gonna find some fats. We have heavy cream. Uh, we have butter, we have eggs. Quick little sidebar, uh, Heavy Cream uh, also used to be my DJ name. You're happy to be here. You're glad maybe that you weren't on the bottom level, but you're wishing that you were on the top. And listen, if it gets really, really crazy up here, you have this stock pot. If it's not going well, you can hide in here. Something that I've never done, because my team is dominating. Let's go see what's on the next level. Right, welcome to the basement. This is one of the most extraordinary basement kitchens I've ever worked in. Fridges from 1970, they, they shake as they chill. Very little equipment, minimalistic, okay? Check these ovens out. They're from 1974. The temperature says 350, but trust me, they barely get hot enough to cook a biscuit in there. Herbs, spices, oils, a few stocks. Come over to some of the equipment, uh, we've got Old fashioned, I mean, I mean, seriously, it's dull, it's dingy. This is where we have to grab those ingredients. Now, it starts off on the first floor and then it goes down to the second floor. And by the time it comes down to the basement, it's so depleted, we're left with like canned mushrooms, canned chicken. Have you ever seen an appetizing chicken in a can? Because I haven't. Then over to the stoves, look at these. These things are sort of, you know, a little bit rickety, uh, sometimes they don't work. Uh, we've only got, like, two sinks. The water pressure is very minimal. Look, it's so depleted. Then it comes down to the equipment. We don't have, like, beautiful non-stick pans, um, sheet trays. We've got aluminium foil. This is how we boil water. And again, a 1970s kettle. That was donated from my grandma, by the way. She left me some... Get your plate from here. A bowl, dress, dress, dress. There's two minutes to put all the food in, and then you've got literally 15 seconds to get it all the way around. The lift goes up, and then you're hoping, literally, to get that plate on there like that. And sometimes the contestants are like reaching up to the top to get their plate on there because the lift's gone. The idea is to cook in the basement, not set it on fire, yes? 